Welcome back everyone to Hearts of Iron 4, in which we are using the Road 56 mod for our campaign. I'm of course Mr. Mocha Lover, you know that. Italian Mr. Mocha Lover, but right now, uh, Yugoslavia and Hungary are killing each other because, well, the Comintern and Northern Lights don't like each other. Finland is, well, not having a good time against the Soviets. Before we get too far though, let's take a look at the casualties. Why not? The Japanese, Indo hold on, Japanese Indonesian War. Defense, oh, oh okay, with America. And Panama is apparently a major power. Um, as well as Ecuador and the communal defense of Indonesia versus Japan. They already took out Chile. Ah, Chile must have dragged them in. Micronesia. So apparently, you know, in any you know regular game, America and Japan, they have just got to kill each other. Oh, is this? This is us. I have the Gilbert Islands. Nice. Uh, regardless. And I guess you have the Chinese in that front there too. Republic of China is looking nice and thick. That's a thick China. Anyways, Yugoslav Swedish War. Well, the Axis has lost a few Mexicans and Czechoslovaks against the Northern Lights. It's it's actually not going too bad for the Northern Lights. The Swedes are really trying to help out the Hungary. Ooh, the Finns. Um, it's very weird when the USSR loses more soldiers to Hungary, Sweden, Hungary and Sweden combined compared to Finland. Okay, whatever. Hungary's... Oh, they just dropped out of major power status. Look at that. Now, we're here together. And I do want to get to the war against the Comintern, which we'll do immediately next. It's not going to be easy, but I want to go through the few focuses that we've done together so far. Or I've done off screen, just so that you have an idea what is going on. Now, if I can remember correctly what we did, we did the Breda BA.65, an advanced version of the BA.64. The BA.65 was designed by Antonio Parano Giuseppe Panzeri. Like its predecessors, it's designed to fulfill several roles, in particular as a fighter, a reconnaissance aircraft, but above all else, as a ground attack craft. And we also did, let's see, was it this one, I believe? Uh, we might have already done this one, so... Cool. But I decided to go down with the Cavagnari's plan, Dom Dominico. Cavangari was promoted as a chief of staff of the Navy in 1933, later Secretary of the Navy. Based on conservative approach to sea combat, consisting of the production of cruisers, destroyers, and submarines. Oh man, reading too much Italian. Oof. Also, a couple comments as well. Why did, I, why did I not give Katowice to Germany? That's because I forgot about it. I'll be honest, yeah. I'm much more interested, or not interested, but much more focused on Poznan and Danzig, so... But now that's looking a little better. Now Germany has a little poker into, Germ into Poland. The Germans poke in Poland. I love it. Uh, so someone recommended that historically, I think it was one of the German empire emperors, not German emperors, one of the Roman emperors uh, claim, like basically, bottom Württemberg, Bavaria, so southern Germany, Austria, Hungary. So basically, he tells me to so annex southern Germany. So here's the goals. We're going to get a lot more political power, and I'm going to integrate France so that we can form actually, you know, the Roman Empire, but we'll probably do the same thing with Germany. I'll probably just integrate them. So it'll take some time, but we'll get there. And I do have plans of just killing off Hungary too, so we'll, get, we'll eat them up. As well as someone recommends, and there's quite a bit of support for me to release Scotland as well as Ireland because technically the Roman Empire never really annexed them. Well, I would do that immediately, but I don't. I, I don't find them. I can't. I can't find them. The Hellenic Republic um, over here creating a collaborationist government is cool and all. But I don't see the Republic of Scotland here. It's a republic. So if you click over here, it says Republic of Scotland. Now, we can release the UK, but I don't want to release the UK. The UK needs to be put down. The Scots, though, need a modicum of freedom. And if we go over here, it's the Republic of Scotland, Botswana, Cameroon, Cyprus, Djibouti. We love Djibouti. Guinea, Kenya, Malawi, Maldives, Mali, Malta, Qatar, Senegal. But there is no Scotland. So maybe we have to wait and maybe it'll pop up, but I think I've stalled long enough. Ooh, and actually we're trying to build more ships too. I love ships. I love naval building. I say that in so many episodes, but it's so true. Let's go ahead and struggle against the Yugoslavians then. Oh wait, we can't. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. We have the guarantee by the USSR. If I go to war with you guys, who are you allied with? Let's see, the Congo Free States. Ooh, I forgot about that. Well, I don't really care too much about Africa, I'll be honest. Mong Mongolia, Honduras, the Siamese. Hondurans, Yugoslavia, Lithuanian Independent SSR, that's fine. Uh, oh, no, I did remember. See, I'm not, why are you guys like this? What the heck? Guys, guys. You got like 10 days to get yourselves ready before we basically take out Belgium again. And this is a very weak line since I only have tanks over here. Oh, they spring out. Oh, that's no good. Mm, we'll see what happens. I'm going to call all, all of our allies in anyways. Once we can wrap up Yugoslavia, we can take out these guys probably pretty darn quickly. But let's go and justify. It shouldn't take too long. Ten days, right? Yep, two days. Ten days, 
two political power, you and me, having a good time together. What's better than that? Um, the Free Indian State. I thought they joined the common turn earlier. A bunch of fascists joined the Japanese, which makes perfect sense. You know what? You guys do you. Have at it. Have a good time. Oh, that actually... Oh, that sucks for China. Oh, that... Oh, and that, oh, that just sucks fighting down there, period. Holy bad words. Regardless, we need to mobilize some more manpower. We're still on limited conscription because I'm using and not... Totally not abusing my puppet's manpower, so... I love it. We need more artillery, though. We got plenty of guns. And a half cup of coffee. Oh. Artillery. Oh, Dalmatia. That's rightful Italian clay. Absolutely rightful Italian claim. Yeah, we need more factories. I mean, I'm trying to build more stuff up, so. Anything here interesting? No, I'm not really interested. Uh, I'd become a Coast Guard. There you go. That'd be nice. And actually, since you're here, just go and come on down here, too. Congo Free State's going to be a little bit of a problem to take out, but that's okay. All right. Leopoldville would be actually pretty good. They're a puppet of uh, a satellite of the Pe Belgian People's Republic. So if we go to war with these guys, this, this should definitely help out the Hungarians, but I don't really care about the Hungarians, I'll be honest. Call all allies in. Let's have a good time together, everyone. Now, we're attacking. I put my, I, I ran out of soldiers, so I'm just using my paratroopers down here, too. And actually, these guys aren't too bad. I made them a little thicker. Uh, well, maybe not. They're 10 combo with, but I didn't give them some armored recon, some engineers, some artillery. So this way, they're a little bit better. Hopefully, we can do okay here. Uh, yeah. Well, they're definitely attacking. Well, maybe we won't be able to take these guys out too quickly, then. We'll see what happens, you know. We'll see what happens. Um, how about these guys over here? Why not? Oh, there we go. A lot of the operations were automatically bypass. There he goes. That's pretty nice. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe it wasn't. Alright, so are we at war with these guys yet? I'm going to have the tanks go in. There's only six of these guys, but there should be about 40 combat with. So, we'll see what happens. Actually, Belgium. And, oh yeah, we have a massive border there, too, so... Well, it's only 10 days, so I'm not too worried about that. Where are all of our soldiers? So you guys are on the line, which is totally fine. You guys are... Oh, you're down here. Yeah, they're, they're trying to beat us up. Actually, we should see how much manpower does Yugoslavia have. Quite a bit. They're on extensive conscription. The Soviets, uh, don't even bother. There we go. If we can capitulate the Belgians... Oh, look, they just... Okay. Uh, the goal is... Hey, look at that! Ah, the independent state of Croatia declared war on the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Yes. That's what you get, Yugoslavia, you bunch of bad words. Even though I will... Actually, I will kick them out eventually. Since it's, it's so quick to kick people out and then kill them off. The Italian-Mexican... You don't want to join the Italian... What, what's wrong with you? The Italian-Mexican War is a very noble goal for us to fight. Actually, did they, they cut these guys completely off. Oh, that is so good. Go right on in. You can probably actually do pretty well. Oh my goodness. Come on, we gotta we gotta use this advantage while we got it. And actually, oh yes. Sink the convoys. I still have my, one of my navies over here. And we have uh, our other ships down here too. Now this is looking like, more like TNO Italy with Albania down there. That's really nice. Oh, we lost in Zada. I don't really care, I'll be honest. Oh no, 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 no. That's not good. But we do have a lot of green air. That's lovely. We built up all those planes earlier. Earlier? Earlier. Ah, uh, keep sinking them. We gotta finish this up. Come on. Get in there and beat them up. And I know it's Africa, you know. Movement is a little difficult. Oh, they actually have this too? Huh. That's nice, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's nice. Dual secondary batteries. That's pretty good stuff. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good stuff. How about this stuff? Might as well. It's almost 72. If that's a case... Hmm... This copy I got is almost gone. Big sadness hours. Alright. Dual purpose is so good. I love dual purpose so much. Any better radar? No. Oh no! Whatever. There you go, make that when you're done. The tanks are doing a great job. We'll capitulate these guys pretty quickly. Then we'll send these tanks down to Yugoslavia. That should be good. Uh, Brussels? Yes, ours. Very good, very good, very good. Um. Ooh, actually, can you get in there real quick? Come on, come on. Can you slink yourself in there? Okay, they're gone! Kind of, but they're leaking over to Germany. That's disgusting to say. The Soviets are leaking their way into Germany. Hmm, disgusting. Come on. Ah. Germany, you're supposed to defend your borders. Wow, they are really linking into there. Disgusting. 
Oh, and guys, I would highly, highly recommend y'all don't come over there. You gotta do this. There you go. Did they pair drop another year? Maybe they tried to. There you go. More divisions. Ah, yes, we can go to war with those guys. I thought we already were, though. Ah, convoys. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do you guys actually win here? Yeah, you might be able to. Nice. Giovanni Messi. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, oh, I, I should probably pay attention to the front, because they are attacking in some places. Now, them being on a, this front war, and then their front up here, that's not good for them. Especially, oh my goodness, it's not good over here, too. Vittorio Ambrosio. Hello. Um, not bad, not bad. Marbor must be ours. Yeah, the pair troopers are doing pr quite well, I'd say. Can I actually increase their size? We like thick daddy troopers, right? No, no, not you. Paratroopers, 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 paratroopers. I sound like I'm going crazy. I might be actually going crazy, but we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm halfway considering doing military police because it's actually not that bad. It only requires just a little bit more support equipment, infantry equipment, and production costs, of course, but they get a little bit less organization, but you do get more suppression bonus, which doesn't matter, of course. But you get a tiny bit more soft attack, but you get a lot more defense. And actually, defense is pretty good for paratroopers since they're going to get the poop smacked out of them, so. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, you do get more suppression, but suppression doesn't matter. Eh, they might be able to throw more better stuff on there. We'll see what happens. So many casualties. Oh, that's quite a few. Uh, we've killed off 40,000 of them, and over here we've killed off 290,000 Soviets. I'm not even paying attention to that front. I love it. I'm a little more worried about these guys, actually. Oh, did you kill somebody? Congratulations, you've killed somebody. Here's your medal. Ah, uh, the plan. Uh, they've got no upgrades. Whatever. I should be really focusing on the Air Force instead of the Navy, but I like the Navy. Probably too much. And I'll do the Air Force, why not? The Fiat G.50. The Fiat G50, nicknamed Aero, represents a turning point for Fiat. Uh, this aircraft having been designed by Giuseppe Cabrelli. While in the past, the companies relied on the chief engineer, Celestino Rossatelli. God, someone make me some pasta. Oh, of course, France would want this part of Belgium, of course. Of course. Oh, France never change. Oh, they're, they're definitely trying to flood out of here. Cone is the capital of Belgium. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, look at that floating fortress. Great. Let's grab some of this. We can make some carriers too, but I, I think I want to make some destroyers first. Wait, we have seven divisions here. Nice. Now, them, they should really not be getting that much supply at all, so go right ahead. Maastricht? Uh, we have to go to war with the Dutch eventually anyways, but we'll do that later. later. Not too worried about that. Keep up the attacks. You're doing a great job down here. Um, let's reform you guys. And we're going to have these guys attack. Why? Because we have air superiority. That's why. And by throwing all the, all of our guys to attack at once, that actually might be enough to have overwhelming air superiority so these guys can do well. That's my main thoughts right now. Alright, I would... Uh, we got to raise up conscription level. Let's do that first. And then we'll save up to integrate like Germany or France. Oh, look at this! Convoys! Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, my admiral. Inigo Camp... Campioni. I'm not Italian at all, like, I'm 0% Italian, so. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, these guys, oh, that's so sad. Oh, we cut them off completely. I like that. Who owns this? Who's this? Portu oh, Portugal. No, 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 no. Portugal, no, 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 no. Portuguese fake news. Slowly we shall win in uh, Yugoslavia. Ah, okay. Congo Free State. Great job. Now, it's looking pretty nice. Uh, I did say, like, yesterday that I would end the war against South Africa. Obviously, it's over, so. Going to war with Turkey right now would probably be a bad idea. Oh, wait, have we actually pushed in? I don't remember telling you guys to do that, but alright. Can we actually go to war with the Dutch? They might be guaranteed by the Americans, though. Ah, uh, they're guaranteed by the Brazilians, who's in the alliance with the Americans, which I don't like. Yeah, that's alright. Alright, so what do we do with this army, then? I guess I'd send you to Yugoslavia. I guess, and then maybe we'll send you to... Bulgaria? Yeah, that sounds quite nice this time of year. Bulgaria in December. 
could be kind of nice. Uh, yeah, Honduras, you're not going to be able to send convoys anywhere this way. Our fleet is too good. And we only have seven tank divisions, but... Mm, and they're all light tanks. 40 combat with light tanks. At least most of them should be. Yeah, your light tanks. Yeah, 40 combat with... Uh, screw medium tanks. Who needs medium tanks? we got light tanks. Ah, oh, Yugoslavia is a giant mess. God bless the Hungarians until I take them out. As you can tell, this is another army I'm trying to build up to, so. Oh, and if they want to leave, let them go right ahead. I will welcome them as, as a challenge for them to leave the area here. But they do have to escape the death squad of thousands, not thousands, but a ton of subs. Uh-oh, you left Dubrovnik. Oh no, they might not be able to leave anymore. Now, Croatia, I, I like that you came to this war. I thought that was a very admirable thing to do, but once this war is over, man. Oh, there goes Yugoslavia. I love it. Love it, love it. Now, this is a giant mess, but what else is new? Oh, the tanks are done, too. <sighs> if we have to focus on the Soviets, so be it. Oh, they're not looking too good, are they? Actually, you guys invaded, too. I'd rather take out the Soviets with the help of the Northern Lights up here, this faction, and then backstab... Not really backstab, but, you know, take out the Northern Lights. Maybe we'll just take out Turkey. Because we do take them, too. But we'll see what happens. Alright, so this is a giant mess. And you guys got to help finish down here. And then we'll probably go to, actually go to war with Bulgaria. The guaranteed by anybody? No. Oh, Boris III. Submit or die. That's usually how it works, right? Uh, now, Hungary, you're looking a little too thick for my liking. We all like thick Hungarians, but... Sometimes we got to reform a couple things here. And the Greeks, too, yeah. We got we to gotta work on the Greeks. Sophia will be ours. Actually, uh, paratroopers. I love paratrooping too much. As you can tell, I'm not doing as many cuts for this episode so far just because, well, there's no point to. Um, we're still trying to fight the Soviets, in which, actually, can we do a general push? Ooh, ah, good. We got even better at light tanks. Nice. Um, anything over here? Mil better military police? We, we probably honestly need that, so. Look at all that army XP we've got. Light tanks, 1936 light tanks. Oh, this is only 1941. Um, I want max that sucker out. You can get some of this too. As long as everything's positive, I'm okay. 20%, uh, slightly more production costs. Can he actually go with... I'm not too concerned about armor. Main gun? Everything's a plus. More liability, too. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, max B plus 0.5 is not much more, but hey, screw it. Whatever. Make sure what we're using is actually all the good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, cannons, very good. Uh, sure, three over there. Oh, that sucks. Oh, we're fighting Siam, too. I forgot about that. Oh, you guys are... Oh, that's bad. Well, you guys are going to go die, then. Sorry, my bad. I'm not really interested in <laughs> helping down there. Ah, uh, I love it. Ah, another ship. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, we gotta help some of you guys out. Yeah, oh, the tanks had it already, so. That's fine. The tanks will do fine. Not worried about them. You guys are... Taking your old sweet booty time. Who the heck is over here doing this? Like, oh, it's you guys. That's right. All right, that's fine. Okay, so Hoi Four really likes this little glitch where he try to drag a front line. It doesn't really work that well. Uh, I'll throw you over here. That's fine. Who the heck is this? 27, 27 divisions. Why are you wasting your life over there? Ah, oh, there you go. That's what it is. I'll be honest, you guys are probably, the Bulgarians will probably die before we get too far with that, so. And let's go and set this up real quick. One, two. I'm going to send two at a time. Go to Sofia. One, two. There you go. We'll send one from here down to there. As you can tell, I really don't care about the Soviets. <laughs> uh, I wonder how many guns they have. Actually, we should check on the guns. There you go. As long as we can get to the sea, that'd be pretty good for us. Uh, take that too, because you can. 
Flavin. And then Schumann. Schumann, 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 Schumann. Ah, Sophia. Yeah, we gotta get more man uh, political power, manpower, all that good stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, some Mexican convoy go bye bye. Another ship, another sub. Very good. Any upgrades, Admiral? Angelo. Mm -mm. Oh, we're out of cannons, that's right. And by cannons, we mean artillery. Uh, two more divisions. Very good. No, you're not going to fair drop. I'm sorry. You're not going to do anything either. Uh, that's too many divisions. There you go. Finally. Where are you guys at? You're over there? Cool. Are you guys poised to strike into the heart of the enemy? Good. And then you guys are good as well. Three. Two-ish. One-ish. Are they guaranteed by anybody? No-ish. Alright, they joined the common turn, which makes sense. And we're trying to lad, land in uh, Sophia. Not really working out for us, but if we force the attack, that'll save some of their strength for now. And hopefully we can get in there, actually, for realsies. Good, we're getting close. Come on, come on, come on, come on. we got to take attack Sophia. Attack Sophia. Oh, we're slowly winning. Move in there. Move, 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 move. We actually might win. Oh, this is disgusting. Did we lose any paratroopers yet? Yes, we have. We've lost at least one. Oh, god dang it. We took Sophia. Uh, you guys. Force the attack. How many men have we lost? Too many men. To the Bulgaria? 13,000. Bulgarians, how many men have you lost? 100,000. Not good enough casualty ratio. Then again, if I was really trying for casualty ratio, well, it'd be better. Whatever. Oh, there's one over here, guys. There you go. Thank you. There you go. No, it's not too bad. All right. Casualties. You killed off. How many Ita good Italian boys? You killed off. I can't read right now. 17, 18,000. We've only killed off a third of a million. That's not enough. I want more. I know I'm very greedy sometimes, but sometimes you just have to be... All right, I don't want to send you guys down there. That decrease, that'd be just a little too crazy for me. Well, I'll send you up here though, where the supply is really bad. <laughs> we should probably get some logistic companies. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, you guys are doing pretty darn well, but you know, I love seeing you all. But going up, re reinforce this line. There you go. I don't even care. Italo Balbo. Good job. Honestly, you're probably going to need these divisions more than we do, so here. You can have your job back, but you're going to be guarding with some, um, what was it, Malaysian soldiers? So good luck. I'm sorry, Vietnam. I'm sorry. Good morning, Vietnam. Oh. I did say I want to get some logistic companies, maybe, so let's try that. And maybe some maintenance companies, too. And Greece will be ours. Now, of course, we must, uh... Oh, what are you guys going to do over there? We must go to war with the Greeks. Uh, the Greek Industrial Revolution. Wait, is that that seems kind of communist. If they join the Comintern, well, that's all right with me. I don't really care. If I cared about them joining the Comintern, I would let you all know. But obviously, I don't. So uh, I'm going to send two. To, ooh, if we try to invade Athens, that's going to be. A, I'm going to lose these soldiers probably. And that's okay. They're here to be expendable. As you can tell, I'm only just focusing on the southern portion of uh, Greece here. Hopefully they don't have that many soldiers, so let's we'll see what happens. And I'm trying to get up to where old Sparta was with Kal Kalamata? Kalamata. Just so we have a, a port there, that'd be good. And go to Patras as well, because that'd be good to have a port. Good. Get all that area down there. Do we want Corfu? Ah, eh, screw it. We'll get Corfu. And then over here, oh, actually, we could probably land in Crete if we really wanted to as well. Uh, Heracleon, and get some supplies through. That's not bad. And you guys do that too. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't worry about this group now. That's good. Ooh. Hellenic Sovereignty? Oh, why would it, Mussolini, question Hellenic Sovereignty? Oh, there you go. 14 ships. That's not very much now, is it? I'll have you guys go and repair. 
All right, so you guys just go on and be right here. Ah, just in time. I had to throw you away, basically. Give them like five seconds, and we'll do probably pretty okay-ish. And just in case, do we have any extra space here? Fighters, there you go. We don't have enough dive bombers or su such right here. Stormos, where do we have any... Oh, there's some dive bombers, there you go. You go there, and you go right there. Three, two, well, I guess we'll read the focus first. All right, increase aircraft, oh, wow, look at that. National spirit, increase aircraft production, yes, please. Despite our technological advances, our aircraft production limits remains relatively low, as industry dedicated to it is limited. If we want to have a fully equipped air force, we must redouble our efforts in airplane production. Very good. Well, everyone, it seems like it's time to do the, uh, well, I wouldn't call it a dirty deed, but a deed nonetheless, in which we've got five days left. My apologies about that. With the fade in, fade out, I thought I heard, like, OBS crash. But it didn't yet. Give it time. Give it time, and it definitely will crash. So, take out the Greeks. I should really focus on the Soviet Union. I was building this up all the entire time, but I'm just letting everyone else kill the Soviet Unions instead of us. Oh, there we go. Um, hmm. Do I really want to try to attack with, the, with our soldiers? Not really, no. I don't really feel like it. Holy bad words. Why can we kill them that quickly? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, they have a lot of divisions. We can't see their... God dang it. What is wrong with these? Okay, um... Let these guys get settled first. Let's let them get to their new lands. Maybe get some more max planning. Well, oh, you know what? We'll wait two weeks. We'll wait two weeks to get that bonus. Does that happen again? Um... Can you guys go there and there? If that's the case, you guys are just gonna... The horse holds, and then you guys go over there. Please tell me that... Alright, it's a little slower than the last one. But, alright, that's good to know. Alright, let's go ahead and go to war with these disastrously devilish Greeks. Let the guys move in. And let us have a good old pair dropping time. Oh, they didn't even guard Athens! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, actually, if you want to read about all this stuff, there's uh, Platypus, no, Plautius, Platypus, Plautius, whatever. Operation Cazare, Chazare, French stuff, you know. Achaeus, uh, Operation Druso, and we should do Operation Volso, and which I'm not even going to read that. I'm, we're just going to go ahead and just invade them whenever we can. Let's just stock up on a lot more uh, artillery, that would be kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. And because the German soldiers, I mean, the Germans are so efficient. They make 40 combat with big daddies, so just throw them in. Just throw them in. Ooh, Mexicans. <gasps> They're in the water, guys. Get them, get them, get them. Oh. All right, so overall, I think we're doing relatively okay. Oh, uh, where are the tanks at? You guys are still up there. That's fine. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Come on. Oh, they left. Come on. Give someone invade. Oh, wait. Hold on. Can you guys actually... No, you can't go down there. <laughs> we got it. Okay, so how are the Greeks not dead yet? We took their capital. We took Crete. Holy bad words. We took Thessalonica, of all things, too. We even took Corfu. Um, you guys can hit down there if you really want to. You can set one guy there and have one of you guys come up here. Agrenio. Larissa. Oh, that's a big sadness. We lost something down here. I don't know what we were trading over here. Could probably use more fuel, too, but... Ah... Uh, Alexandropolis. Ooh. Alright, well, I'm waiting for these guys to capitulate, and then, uh... They'll go bye-bye. Ah, there it is. Beautiful, my friends. And we'll do the Turks next after this, too. I'm sorry if you're Turkish, but it must be done. Ace pilot promoted. Very, very good. Head on in, boys and girls. Uh, the Greeks didn't even want to play around. Oh, there they go. Okay. But goodbye, Greeks. We've only killed off 200,000 of them. And, yeah. Am I getting invaded? Hold on. What's going on over here? Oh, hello. Ah, uh, they're trying to sink my little, my little boys. No, 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 no. Oh, look at this. They have found a tiny little uh, common turn fleet. C'est la vie, c'est la vie, and we're going to have a really strong southern front down here. Or at least stronger compared to the front north. Even though I did some of my tanks up north. 
Yeah, these guys are struggling still. Without us, they're going to probably die. But luckily for them, we're going to come in. Oh, and three. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Man, Road to 56, Italy, is fun to play. As long as you can capitulate, like, France early on. Uh, I don't want to kill these soldiers off. By pair dropping into the Soviet Union, that seems like a really bad idea. So. Hmm. I'm not going to use them yet. For that. Alright, I've got another idea. Well, I'm not going to pair drop with them, but there you go. You know what? And where are you guys? Standing by? Uh, just in case, we'll put you over here. There you go. And... Oh, you guys. What are you guys? Put Eastern Balkans? Storm of Storm of There you go. Uh, there you go. Get all the soldiers on the front line. We are going to push as hard as we Italianly can. Ooh, more regular infantry. Just throw you on the line. That's fine with me. Um, Gotta save up our political power. These divisions are okay. They're 22 combat width. I don't really want to use that one. So, we can only get 1.76 political power every day. Ooh, Chief of the Navy. Ooh, Luxembourg ideas must be put down. I like that. Why is, is that Lenin? That's an old picture of Lenin. They're not communist. Well, maybe they really are. And I love this one. Communist rating? Yes, please. Now, at this point, I'm, I promise I'll save political power up from here on out. And I and I probably will break that promise. I'll be honest. I'll probably break it. All right. All right. So, we, are we good? Are we good? Come on. Come on. Come on. We've got commies to put down. And Northern likes to put down as well. Ah, that's good, I guess. Oh, move a little bit faster, please. Thank you. Anything else here? Oh, government set for schools. And over here, anything else? Not really, no. Ah, <gasps> oh, tank divisions. I love it. Alright, so for you guys, I'm just going to throw you all right there. I don't really care. As you can tell, I, I really don't care, so. Give them about five seconds. Five. Four. I lied. Let's go ahead. Oh, wait, we're, we're already at war with them. Duh. Mr. Mocha Lover, you gotta realize you're at war with people when you're already at war with people. I know, I know. I am going crazy right now, as you can tell, with my speech, maybe a little bit of my words, my voice. Goodbye, Luxembourg. Head on in, boys. I should really probably pay attention to this one, actually, instead. Oh, so far, quite a bit of green, quite a bit. Uh, Ethiopian boys, you can help guard some coasts if you feel like it. Um, look at that. Look, those tanks are god awful. Hold on, what's in the, what are the, in those tank divisions? Well, it's not bad. Five light tanks, four motorized. That's 18 combat with, so. Okay. Oh, Ubaldo Sodu was wounded. Not. That's a, that's a lot of damage. That's like damage I would see in overall blues. They've, they must have lost all their planes in the war against the British or something. Hold on, hold the phone. Uh, actually. Oh, actually, I want to use spy stuff, but I'm helping putting down resistance in Switzerland, which is still going up. God dang it. Um, hmm. We need more fuel for this. Oh, we're going to need a lot of fuel. Actually, what is our motorized good? Throw on some more animals. And by animals, I mean armored cars. We were at 3,900. Uh, we can do, uh, let's not do any more since we will be taking a lot more territory. Um... Alright, 100,000 losses so far. Not bad, not great. The Greeks did up to 22,000 damage to us. Or damage. Dead soldiers. Well, we killed off over a million Ita uh, Italian Soviets. We are the Italians. Especially with all this extra breakthrough. Oh, look at this. An encirclement. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Okay, goodbye, Lithuania. Now the Danes are here. Uh, well, the Danes will be here for now. Oh, look at that. Oh, Greek ships. I did put some plants all around here in the Mediterranean, so this is definitely ours. I'd be a little scared if I was Turkey right now. All right. Uh, the casualties. Well, we killed off another 400,000 uh, Soviet boys. Pretty good. Let's go and grab some more fuel refining and such, because we're going to need that for long term. We're about to get some better artillery. It is 42, and I haven't done research yet, have I? No, I haven't. We need to get some more advanced competing machines. It's only 9%. Not 10%, not 8%, but... A whole 9%, which is kind of odd, but, you know, whatever. There you go. Thank you very much for playing. Uh, at this point, we might just have the Soviet Union just, like, cracked. And I will give the Finns maybe a few things here and there, maybe to wish them goodwill. But it won't be goodwill for very long. There's so much research in Road to 56. There's maybe, some might say, too much to research, but that's okay. That's what makes it a little bit more interesting than normal vanilla.
Well, we've killed off almost 2 million of them, and we've lost a total of 27,000. God, I love breakthroughs so much. Oh, uh, social science. Ah, uh, yes, when you're getting... Oh, we can see us now. Look at that. Oh, ooh, what are their divisions like? 67, 14-5? Four, so that's 28 combat width with just infantry, and 15. That's 39 combat width. Infantry divisions. That's not bad. That's a majority of their army, too. And these guys are 18 combat width. And these guys are, same thing, 39 combat width. Um, hold on, planes, planes, planes. But where are their, what, where are their planes? They have no, okay. I, I, mm. I mean, the only thing that's stopping us is the lack of fuel. And the Ukraine is a battlefield. But, I, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, this is... This has been a, a weird campaign. I was expecting to struggle a lot more in this one, I'll be honest. Uh, what else do we want to do around here? Uh, more, maybe, maybe more naval stuff. What's down here? Let's do... I don't want to do this one. Just It doesn't make sense for us to do that one. It doesn't make sense to do this one because we can just justify on ten, in, within 10 days. <laughs> 10 days. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Mountaineers. Factory bomb vulnerability. Expand elite forces. I guess we can do that one. Our elite forces had formidable results during the Great War and were feared by all the major powers on the Axis. In the meantime, many other members have risen in rank in military hierarchy, allowing us to train a new generation of these same formations. Very, very, very nice. Seriously, like... Jesus Christ, Soviet... Why are you so incompetent? They got a lot of guns. That's literally all they have are guns. Wait, China, what are you doing? You declare war... Mongolia... They're in the commentary in China. You're not done with the Japanese yet. Which means now you have your southern thrust that you gotta focus on down there. Wait. Okay, well, whatever. We have to reorder this a little bit more. Uh, you guys are kinda bored, aren't you? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Well, maybe we could pull some soldiers. Okay, there they go. Okay, then. All right. Well, no, oh, Massey was wounded. The Korean Empire. Well, all right. Well, let's see what happens. Now, I, I'm I'm loving these paratroopers. Oh, where are the uh, El Planos? Wait, why are you over there? Oh, you're the wrong group. There you go. There you go. You can go over there. English Channel. You can go back over there. Transport. Set on over here. We gonna need some more fuel, don't we? That'd be good. All right, very nice. All right, let's go over there. And one, two. Uh, go right there. Sweden will be a little harder to take out, but that's all right. Um. Should be all the Danish victory points. We'll get to them soon enough. Guys, guys, guys. Just let time go on, doesn't really matter. Whee! And go right on ahead. You guys are doing a great job. What are we building? Oh, we're building a lot of Oh, we're already trying to get down there. Huh. Well, actually, what do we need after this? What do we need? Oh, the former Georgian National Council. Georgian an ancient kingdom with a rich history going back to the Middle Ages but was briefly freed itself from the Russian yoke after the World War. With the Bolsheviks came another type of Russian domination. Through volunteers from within the country and the members of the old elite living in exile, and the freedom of the land of Tamar could be restored. Uh, I don't want to spend political power. I really just don't right now. So, Scotland, where are you? Republic of Qatar. Sri Lanka. United Canadian Federation. Huh. Well, I don't see them, which is unfortunate. Shot down Snowflake. Ah, good. Azerbaijani National Council, okay. National Council form, wait, Armenian. Ooh, Armenian. Okay, so what else do we need around here? So we need Hungary, which is fine, we'll take them out. You, all the Yugoslavian states, which is fine. 
All the Turkish and Belgian states. Turkish and Belgian states are what we need. And all Spanish states in Europe and Spanish Africa. And all French states. I thought Spain died already. Oh, because they had that over there. That makes sense then. So really... Holland, Brabant, Elfeld, Solskistun, Benat. So basically take out the Northern Lights. And that's pretty much it. After this. Cool. And after that, I'm not really sure what else to do. So we'll probably just call it a campaign since there's not much else to do after that, really. So... It is what it is. Cool. Uh, let's make sure we actually start really... Oh, we already built up a lot of infrastructure down there. Ooh. If that's the case. Ooh. They love airports in France. I'll tell you one thing. The French love are a lot of airports. And get some more refineries, too. You don't need just a wee bit more fuel. Alright, so you guys. Messy. I'm gonna have you guys position yourself right here. Actually, the lighting's would be better over there, but whatever. And you guys. That'd be fine with me. Oh, we're still struggling down here. Actually, you guys can come down here then. The best to pull. Uh, for the rest of these things, just make some of this stuff, that's fine. I guess technically we still need to take out Mexico. Ah, uh, Mexico, why do you have to be such a problem? There you go, thank you. Uh, I guess Mexico, Turkey. Um, hmm. You know what? Then, uh, th yeah, how about this? Tomorrow's episode is going to be the last one in which we will integrate the French, take out the Turkish, Take out Mexico. Because we're still technically war them, and I can't form an Irish puppet because they're part of the Axis. Go figure. Oh, good. At this point, I'd l I want to keep using German soldiers, which is fine. Um, yeah, just head on down there, guys. You'll be fine. Uh, how many Soviets have we killed? 3.4 million. They're not ready yet. 150,000 Italians have lost their lives in this bloody conflict. So be it. There we go. Ah, yes. Do you actually have an upgrade? Oh, an expert? Sure, why not? Uh, no, we good, we good. Uh, I guess we have to trade just for a spot more fuel. Thank you, America. And thank you for not getting involved. Mm, I guess that's fine. How much support equipment do we have? We have 34,000. Tongolese Republic. Very good, very good. They're not ready yet. There you go. That's good. That should save us a little bit of supply. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, they're still... They're not giving up yet, obviously, but... There's not much they can really do down here. Go right on ahead, everyone. Ah, Moscow's a frontline city. Great. Yeah, with them having no air force, it's it's pretty easy against the Soviet. Then again, it's easy against anyone if they don't have an air force. So, what do you expect? The fall of Moscow. From Moscow to Paris, all shall bow before Rome once more. I love it. Oh, the friend, the Finns got Leningrad, which is fine. Go, go, go. Ah, good one up. Ah, uh, we need more fuel, America. Let me suck on your oil rigs. There you go. Actually, no, I don't want to make your divisions anymore since we, we've got to lower your uh, autonomy. Is there a clamp down on an autonomy button? What is this? Cultural norms? It's not bad. Expand the elite fighting forces? Okay, okay. Code de Ivory? No, thank you. Synthetics? Military factories are okay. And grab one of these. Why not? Po Valley's metallurgy. The Po Plain is home to a large amount of Italian industry, in particular metalworking, particularly in Turin and Genoa. This industry is vital and should be supported as a priority. Oh, you can see the game really chugging. Wow. That's alright. I'm not even processing anything in the background either. Support for these. Just grab some better infantry equipment then. Um, there you go. Pad everything out. And we don't need nearly as many of you anymore.
Go medium. There we go. Germany. Well, we don't need your tanks anymore. Thank you. We'll keep using the pole stuff, though. Uh, really, guys? Really? Yeah, they're, they're even... They're just, like, done or something now. Wow. They've only lost... They've got up to 200 divisions. We've killed off 4 million of them. So that's not bad. How strong are the Finns? Let's take a look. They would have died without us, so... Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Swedes have... They're all, all adults serve. The Finns are on all adults serve as well. And the Norwegians are on all adults serve. Wow. They don't have that many planes now, do they? Nor Norway. And oh, a little bigger in Sweden. And not so much in the Finland territory. And that's fine with us. Ah, uh, Stalingrad. A great city. Time to fall. Gabonese Republic. No, thank you. I think in the next episode, we'll probably... I think we'll take out Mexico last. Yeah, we'll probably do that one last. I don't know, we'll see, though. We, we shall see. Soldiers are all good and ready to go. Emilio de Bono. Nothing down there. And then... Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. Ba. Level 9. Holy cow. That's max? I don't know. We can't get to level 10? Discriminatory. Absolutely discriminatory. Poles, I love the poles. Keep throwing their boys away. Alright, the Soviet Union should. They're not close to capitulating at all. Wowzers. Over here, they're slowly snaking out a little bit. They've lost a little bit more to China. The, the communists are putting down there a little bit. And India's really not been able to push in at all. Now, have they? It's a big sadness for them. Big sadness hours. It's alright, though. Ah, and the tanks are over here, too. Level 5. Not bad. Uh, anything interesting for him? Not really. 79% for becoming a trickster. Germany. No, I'm done. Well, that's actually a lot of Canadians, too, but I'm done eating you guys, too. Ah, oh, fuel. Big sadness hours. Oh, so, oh, we're building... Well, I don't think we really need to base in these places, so... What's it telling me like for France? Oh, they're, that's getting really good. It's actually really getting really, really good for us. Oh, that's alright, guys. We're good. Keep going, guys. We've only killed off up to 6.44 million. We've killed off 45, 4.5 million ourselves, which is not bad. Could be better, though. We've lost in, less than 200,000. So so once these guys capitulate, do we need to capitulate anyone else here? No. Which I'll probably do with Pistol off screen and set us off four. Not taking out the Mexicans. They have up to 92 divisions, though. We've killed off 100. They've lost 149. 141, actually, or something like that. Wow. We're good. Keep slamming down their infamy. Nice. And we'll integrate them. Oh, did it go up? 290? Ah, good. Good, good, good. Oh, and can we get down to those oil deposits? Oh, I want to suck on Baku's oil fields. Suck, suck, suck. Yeah, they lost 141,000. And down here. We're approaching 5 million casualties. God dang it, Soviets. I mean, they have the planes in the air. But it's just a little too late for them. Maritime bombers. I like that we can see all this up divided. So that's kind of nice. Navy don't really, really don't care. They've lost a couple divisions. They have. They found. Oh, well, they did find a few tanks. They had up to thirty-four thousand guns, but now uh, it's not looking too good now, is it? No, no, no. About a thousand. They're trying to make probably as much as they possibly can. And oh wow, look at that. They have roughly a million soldiers left in reserve before they have to conscript some more. Nope. We're good. Are right, these guys cut off? Yes, they are. We're taking Baku. The, oh, the government of Shatterino. Uh, I'm still using horses in 1942. That's only 1942. Holy cow. Um, that's the case. New Zealand dissolves its faction. Okay, Australasian People's Republic declared war on them. As long as we're not fighting you, I don't really care. There you go. You want to make some anti-air? Fine with me. Totally, totally, totally fine with me. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, we have enough to annex them, but we'll annex them once the war's over. So. 
uh, Algeria. No, kind of cringe, man. That's kind of cringy. Algeria and independence? I think not. Would anyone like to get Vladivostok? It's a little independent right now. I don't like that. Oh, they are 89% of the way there. Not bad. Ah, uh, Soviets, please. Give up. It's over, Stalin. You have lost the high ground. You have lost all three major cities in Europe. You lost Baku. You have no more oil. I know it's a big sad moment for you guys, but... How many more dead Soviets do you want? A lot more. There you go. Oh, yes! Ah, they're trying to make a desperate escape. I see. Very good. And I, I don't want to forget the Rhine as well. But we're going to integrate the Germans anyways, so it'll be fine. Go, 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 go. How many have we killed off so far? Well, we've, we haven't killed too many of these people off. Um, Soviet Union, 5.4. They're now at 93%. I think they've done okay. The Swedes have done okay. The Hungarians have done okay as well. Po Valley Metallurgy. Well, maybe it's time to finally invest in our colonies. Our colonies represent a great economic opportunity from oil filled soils in Libya and to the iron and gold reserves in Eritrea. We should seek to increase our colonial investments. That'd be probably pretty good to do. Ah, advanced computing machine finally. Uh, a little bit ahead of time. It's only 42 still. Not that much there to do. Uh, let's grab this. More defense. Support 42s. Ah, there it is. We can do that, but we're going to wait a little bit. That's totally fine with me. Logistics through next level. After that, we'll do even better logistics for our infantry. We might use one of our light tanks, but French Lebanon? Mm, no. And there we go. That definitely helps us out. Guys, would you please like to enter and kill them off? Please and thank you. Come on, come on. 94% of the way there. What are the tanks up to? I mean, it's, it's not that we're doing any worse. I think it's just because the game is just lagging so much. Once we get rid of uh, the Soviets, it, it should speed up maybe slightly. At this point, I don't know about... I don't know. I'm thinking I might not release Russia. I should probably annex them. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, we actually need a few more light tanks. Well, that's not good. Fuel refining. Do we need infantry equipment? No, we don't. Good. I'm not going to give them any infantry equipment. Period. So, excavation so we can get some more oil. Nice. Yeah, we, we need to import a lot. Wow. That's only 96, though. That's not too bad. Come on, we at least 95%, 95%, 96, 95, 96, 97, 95. Okay. How fast can you drive on the highway? Whatever speed you feel like until you get arrested. Or, uh, you ticket it, I guess. I'm thinking 95. Is that a... It's probably gotta be interstate. Interstate 95. I know the 80s is an interstate. Alright, let's come over here. No, you're not, you're not huge. But you still suck up supply, so we'll do that. You guys? Eh. These Panzer Divisions can definitely get some, uh... Logistic companies if you. Shocks. We have... I did make one division of Shock Troopers, so... I am using them. Guanzi Clique is gone. Goodbye, Guanzi Clique. Mm. There you go, guys, as well. Kingdom of Dahomey. Wow, we need way more tanks now. If that's okay. So, are we making any more? That should help spare a few, right? Oh, yeah, that helped out by 1800. That's pretty good. Um, No, thank you. No, no. Thank you. And then. You guys go up right there. The Republic of Djibouti. We love Djibouti. Colonial investments followed up by increased settlements in Eritrea. Eritrea is full of opportunities due to a climate favorable to livestock farming and its basins filled with mineral mills ranging from iron to gold. The number of Italians currently present is barely a few thousand. Clearly, which is not enough for colonialization, or clearly insufficient to make the co colony's economy run profitably. Efforts to encourage families to settle there, as we did for Libya, should solve the population shortage. Oh, we're making babies. Oh, where did you guys come back from? Oh, a little bit of lag there. The Belgian People's Republic revolts against French occupation. What the bad words? Oh, don't tell me that these guys are independent and a major power. 
Please don't tell me that. Oh, how do they spawn with this many divisions? You dunderheads. If only I had a group of people here that could help put the Belgians back in their place. Wait, why did Germany take over Luxembourg? You know what? This is why you don't give your puppets freedom. There you go. Small arms. Very good. Let's grab some advanced camouflage patterns. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, you guys. Paratroopers, that'd be fine. Keep doing what you're doing. And we're almost there. Come on, Soviets. Big old Soviet daddies. We pushed you 99% of the way there. Come on. Just, just, just a little bit more oomph. We've killed off over 5 million. Oh, roughly, we're approaching 6 million for ourselves. Republic of Cayenne, or Cheyenne, whatever it is. Now we still gotta take out the Mexicans. God dang it. Mexico, why? Oh, you guys go right there. That's the last victory point that we need, probably. War bonds would be nice. Eh, but not super necessary. Anything else? Not too much, no. Oh! And? Do we have it? Do we have it? We've got him. Cool. So that's going to end today's episode. Tomorrow's will be the last episode where we take out Scandinavia, Mexico, and Turkey together. If you enjoyed today's episode, guys, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will become more, even more Italian, but ultimately Roman. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.